Hey guys, day two of our art adventures. Today we're going to do a color wheel scavenger hunt. What you're going to need is a piece of paper, something to write with, whether it's a pencil, marker, pen, sharpie, and something to trace a circle around. So I've got a some tape or a lid, whatever you can find. If you have a um, something larger than that, that's fine. I wouldn't get something too small. All right, I'm going to let you go get that. And when you come back, we will get started. Hey guys, I'm back. I've got my paper, my pen, and I found a little bucket that I'm going to trace around. You can use pencil, pen, whatever you have. Once you get your circle traced, go ahead and put a dot in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it close to the center. Some of you like to use rulers to make straight lines, which is fine, but you do not have to. We're just going to make our color wheel by drawing a line from the top to the bottom, right through that middle dot. Now, I'm going to turn mine sideways, and that dot, hopefully you can still see it, I'm going to make an X that goes right across that dot. It's going to look a little bit like a pizza. And again, it does not have to be perfect. So here's our pizza slash color wheel. I'm gonna start off by using the primary colors. I hope you remember what they are. They are yellow, red, and blue. These three colors cannot be made with any other combination of color. If you want blue, you have to go to the store and buy the blue paint. You cannot mix anything else to make blue, red, or yellow. That's why they're primary colors. Now I'm gonna use my pens. You do not have to use um, colored markers. You can use pencil or Sharpie or whatever, but I'm just gonna use them since I have them. Red, I'm gonna skip a space and do blue right here. And I'm going to skip this one and I will put yellow right here. These are my primary colors. The reason that I skipped a space is because we can show the secondary colors that are made by combining the colors on either side of it. For example, if I take red paint and mix it with yellow paint, I will get Orange. Orange is a secondary color. If I take yellow paint and mix it with blue, I will get green. And finally, if I mix red with blue, you get purple. My purple does not look very purple to me. Sometimes they refer to purple as violet when they're on color wheels. So I'll put violet there too. All right, this is the scavenger hunt. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go around the house and see if we can find things that match our color wheel. So, for example, if I wanted to go find something green, I have a popsicle stick right here, it's green. However, if you can't find anything that's all green, that's fine. You can use something that is partially green, like this paintbrush. It's got gold, silver, and white on it as well. That's good enough. It's mostly green. So you're going to go collect a few things and come back. As a matter of fact, I will show you an example of a few things I've collected and then you can do your own little color wheel scavenger hunt, take a picture and send it to me, and I will post as many as I can on Facebook. All right, I'm back, and I've got a few things to show you. I found the Dawn dish, dish soap for green. I found a blue paintbrush and some blue tape for blue. There's some markers that are rolling away here that go with my purple and a purple post-it note. Oops. Uh, Coca-Cola can for red, orange, that was easy, for orange, and then I have a yellow colored pencil and a measuring tape for yellow. 
All right, it is your turn. Once you get finished, take a picture and you can send it to me on my Facebook page and I will try to post it. Have fun.